Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the White Russian. But first, this. Okay, before I get into the history, I have to say that uh, this drink was requested by Gerald Undone. He's a Canadian uh, YouTuber who does a whole bunch of different videos on gear. Uh, he talks about, and he gets into the nerdy side of how focal lengths works and how the different technologies and photography work, which is pretty awesome. And he was one of the guys that got me into the idea of the specific camera that I have. So I, I reached out to uh, him to ask him what type of cocktail he liked. And he said, when he did a lot of drinking, he preferred the White Russian. So here we are. Also, one of my viewers, Justin Beck, uh, requested this with the words, I'd love to see a video making a White Russian. So let's get into the history. Okay, so the White Russian is technically originally, it's a riff or a change on the, uh, the Black Russian. And this originally comes from uh, 1949 during the Cold War era. And I've already done this before, so I'll link it above here. And of course, I'll put the link down below. Now, this drink is made famous by the Big Lebowski starring Jeff Bridges, a.k.a. The Dude. And if you watch closely, he actually drinks about nine of these through the movie. And it's pretty cool. My favorite part is when he gets thrown into the back of the limo and he's got, hey, man, be careful. There's a beverage here. So let's get into making the White Russian. So first, I need my mixing glass. Okay. Now, we need two ounces of vodka, and for this I'm using Crystal Head Vodka. It's a Canadian vodka out from the East Coast. And they kindly donated this to us to, uh, for our uh, Caesar recipe. So I need two ounces or 60 milliliters. And I need one ounce of Kahlua. Now what I do need is some ice, so I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to grab a couple cubes of ice and we're going to stir this a little bit. And we'll stir this for uh, 10 to 20 seconds, oh. because all we want to do is we're just mixing it at this point in time, all right? And this will help bring the, bring the uh, liquids down to temperature, okay? And not only will it help us bring it down to temperature, uh, it'll give us a little bit of added dilution as well. So we're gonna use a, a rocks glass. And we're gonna use some nice clear ice. And we're going to strain this using our Hawthorne strainer. The only thing we're straining really is we're just keeping the ice cubes out. Okay, and now, depending on the recipe you read, they'll ask for a half an ounce of heavy cream or white cream. And for this, I'm using a heavy cream. It's a whipping cream as well. So you'll actually get a little bit of different sweetness in there. And I'm gonna use three quarters of an ounce to an ounce of the cream. Because I find there's not just quite enough of the, uh, with half an ounce. Personal preferences, okay? And now, because I've only ever had one of these before, I want to add a maraschino cherry. And I've got this new fancy container for my cherries. And we're gonna do what they say for, uh, what Gary suggested during the Black Russian video, which of course I've already linked up to. And we want three cherries. And here we have the White Russian. Now, it's got this great layer where the uh, cream sits above, so let me take a look. And the cream covers everything. You can't tell the smell or anything. And that's not bad, but you know what? Let's give it a stir. See how it tastes when it's fully mixed. 
Now I can smell the Kahlua a little bit. Don't really smell the vodka at all. Oh, that's a good drink. It's rich, it's decadent, it's tasty. It's got a great mouthfeel. The Kahlua comes through nice and strong. You get a little bit of the vodka. And you know what, this is an A-list drink. Tell me what you think. Tell me your version of the white uh, Russian. Please put that in the, in the comments. I'm gonna put the ingredients list in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you can actually get notifications whenever I post new content. But if you don't like this channel, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time.